you want to see something crazy. Come on, Thump. Oh, right out of my hand. I see you. Such a beautiful turtle. So these guys like the land, but they also love the water. See how big they are now? The mechanism is not working. Go. Go in. What is going on, Kferos? Welcome back to another video here. Look where we are today. In the old backyard. I'm here a lot, actually. I just don't film it. But one, but one sec. Let me go show you the inside room first. Before we go out to the ponds, let me show you in here. There he is. Look at him. Right there. Hey, buddy. Oh. Tadpoles are in there. One of these upcoming videos, we'll be bringing this guy home soon because I want these to be at my house. I'm Eventually, I want to try to get everything to my house, but tadpoles are so dope. And this is the blob catfish tank. It was the blob catfish tank until I moved out of here. The thing about these catfish is very picky eaters. Mine actually would only eat like a live fish about yay big. It had to be that big. Wouldn't eat any bigger, wouldn't eat any smaller. All the blob catfish that I know of eat frozen besides this guy. He's a picky sucker and I ended up just bringing him back to predatory because I couldn't deal with going to get a live fish. My new house is 30 minutes away so I couldn't deal with going to get a live fish and driving here and putting it into the tank to feed him every other day. It's just a little excessive, you know? So yeah, today we're gonna do something with this aquarium right here, and uh, what the heck? And this right here is my mom's ferret. Such a friendly little animal, and the reason why she actually got a ferret is because my older dog, I don't know if you remember him, Oscar, the really large Shih Tzu, passed away recently, and my mom wanted something to have as her pet. You know, everyone likes to have a pet, and uh, my dad wasn't having another dog, so they got a ferret. Little ferret, look how cute he is. Say hi, flower. You know, they're good pets. Very friendly, but man, do they stink. They smell bad. Yep, and um, as I said that, I got poop sheds all over me. That's better. Here we are, boys and girls. I haven't shown you this in a bit. The sod is, as you can see, grown in. A little bit of uh, urine patches from the dog. But look at this pond, all growing in with the algae. Come on, guys. They usually come up. I'm slowly getting them up. See them? They used to take off under the bridge when I first walked up. As you know, I asked you guys, what should we put in the pond? Should we put koi fish or thump and champ, the two bass that you'll see in just a second. And uh, the comments were unbelievable. Some said champ and thump, but most said those butterfly koi. We gotta let the pond go through that algae stage first, and then we'll go and get some fish for it. All right, next. You wanna see something crazy, mind-blowing. Look how many babies are in this pond. Like hundreds of thousands, like look at little platy babies. Do you see them all? Look at that one with the little orange head, black body, just swim away. Look at them, so cool. And they're everywhere, like the platies are just everywhere. So we got mollies, platies, everything's in this pond right here. A big old goldfish. So yeah, there's a lot of fish in here. And actually, if you look over here, it's all those little shiners that were in the turtle pond before. So this pond is doing great. Mini pond is doing very well. And look at the flow now. Flow is kicking. Walk through here and look at this. Look at them. So sick. That algae is just still on the bottom of this pond, not sure. I'm actually in the works with Aquascape to try to get that clear. Um, but eventually it will be. And uh, I did feed Thump, Champ, and all the Midases. The Midases are these little orange fish. I fed them all yesterday, so I'm gonna throw you back to when I was here yesterday. There's Thump, and here's the bait. Oh, God, Lee, that did not last at all. Now, where's little Champ? Oh, Champ just crushed that thing. Look at Champ, chowing down. A little Champer. Come on, Thump. Oh, right out of my hand. It's Midas time. Look at the little turtle. Time to feed the Midases. Crushing, absolutely destroying. Oh, close up, close up. Big piece, let's see what they do to it. Oh, ripping at it, ripping at it. Now that you've seen that, let's try to find our three Malaysian box turtles. There's one, that's the male. So this is the male Malaysian box turtle. And I mentioned this before, but you know that it's the male when it's got that little tiny indent on the stomach. See how it goes in like that? And that's so they can mount themselves on top of the female in order to reproduce. So we're gonna just put him right back there, cover him up like how he was. And uh, isn't that cool they make themselves like camouflage like that? Let's find the next one. I see you. This is a female, because I have one male and two females. There she is, right there, hiding in there. I'm not even gonna mess with her. And she has the flat stomach, so. 
as you can see, they're all getting shade right now because it's Hello pretty there. hot out. And uh, let's see if we can find the last one. Somewhere, leave these little cages for them to walk back up just in case they get back there. Actually, I know they go back there on purpose and then they come up on those cages. This is another spot they like. See all these little spots you get to up and look where she is. Oh, these are nice. Huh. Hey, you're awake too. Chilling. And this is the other female right here. Such a beautiful turtle. So these guys like the land, but they also love the water. And that's why this little habitat right here, as you can see, everything's caged in. This is where they've been for over a year now, and they are loving it. I know they love this elephant here, so they do eat some of the plants out here. Uh, look at that, there's them just chowing down on it. But this is as natural as it gets. Don't get much more natural than this right here. I mean, look at it. Now that you've seen my parents' backyard, we are gonna get this tank all situated, set up, put it in my truck. We're gonna do something with it at my house. All the plants are actually doing great in here. These are all live plants, live, 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 live. That's artificial, but everything else is live and they're all doing good, so we'll take those to the house. So to anyone that doesn't know how to siphon, I actually didn't learn myself for a while, so I wanted to say this on camera, so to anyone that does like buckets and takes the water out from the tanks with buckets to do water changes and stuff, use a siphon. You can buy them, they look like this, you can buy them from any pet store. It not only takes all the fish waste and stuff off the bottom of the tank as you're doing it. You don't even need to buy a siphon with the spray. It's, it's easier, but look at this. This is just tubing, black tubing. Buy it at Home Depot, buy it at Lo like literally anywhere. It's just the tube, looks like this on the other side too. You're gonna suck in on this side, the side that's not in the tank. And there it goes, just like that. Now look at the water coming out of the tank. That's how easy it is. So what I did was pretty much just suck the water from right there at the bottom of the tank, sucked it to right here. Once it gets over that lump, it just, the water falls down and it just keeps on going. It doesn't, hard to explain, but you get my point. All you gotta do is suck on this end a little bit till it gets over that hump and it'll come down and just let your water out by itself. Now I just sit here and enjoy. There you go. A little bit of do it yourself by Paul Farrell. No, but for real, for anyone that didn't know, I've. Hopefully that helped. Also make sure this end that the water's gonna be coming out of is lower than the tank end or else it won't work. And just like that, your tank is completely empty. I'm gonna get these plants into like a little five gallon bucket with a slight bit of water. Stain dirty bucket, but a little bit of water and these plants are good to go. Hey, alrighty boys and girls, we are good to go. Not going anywhere. Boom, plants are here. Guess what else is here? The tank, and it fits perfectly. Now think to myself how stupid it was to uh, get rid of the blob because I could have just brought them here. That's why I dropped out. Um, anyway, there's plenty of baby. <laughs> By the way, stay in school, kids. Smart. I turn this aerator on every once in a while for them. But look at all the baby blue crawfish. We actually made a video dedicated right here to these little fellas right here. What, Kiwi? What, what are you doing? They're actually pretty big. Take a look. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of get as close as I can to one focused. See how big they are now? Isn't that crazy already? These are blue crawfish. There's like 13 in here now. The smaller ones, one that were always small. It's literally part of life. They just don't grow as big as the others, and the others take advantage of the smaller ones. And uh, you know what they do. I'm not even gonna explain it. <laughs> but they're well fed, and they're gonna be really cool once we get them into here. So this is becoming our well, guest room, but also a little tank room for now. We're gonna have our three tanks in here that we have. Look at George, such a beautiful fish, chilling. Oh, and Paul, where are the Platinums? They're hiding, because I just added an aerator in there, as you can see, and they got a little spook, but you can see one's whisker is popping out over there, and then the other two are chilling right there. But here's the tank, there it is, right there, and what we're gonna do is fill it up with water. Still has the filter media and everything from the old tank. By the way, the main reason I'm doing this is because they are getting very big very quickly and in order to make them grow even faster, just like anything else in this world, needs a bigger place. So these little fellas right here are about to get a new home. Let's set this up real quick though. This is really cool. This was a plant I bought from the pet store a long time ago. That's actually a living plant right there and was attached to the driftwood. I don't want to put this in because we'll literally never see them. That's where they'll be hiding is inside that. This is a really, really cool plant right here. And that'll grow like crazy. You'd be surprised how fast those things grow. Some little javas right here. We're just going to plant these somewhere. They'll grow too. All right, so we got a little planted aquarium here now. Looks nice, real plants. By the way, these crawfish are probably going to 
eat all of this, so don't matter. But for now, at least it looks good. I can also use some of these little pieces of wood, I guess. Get a cool little spot going for all them to be hanging out on. So there's that, so you got all your wood just like that, same as the last tank, in that little corner so that when they're on it, we get a good view from the front. So that's that, tank's done, let's get some water in it right now. And the filter is running. Water's already pretty clear. Now the real challenge is to try to get every one of these things into a bag so that I can acclimate them. The mechanism is not working. Go. Go in. No, no, no. Okay. I got like two. Oh, and they both just came out. They tend to like literally, if anything's smaller, and keep in mind they're well fed, they like to eat each other. Like it's weird, I've witnessed like them going and attacking like the smaller ones. So uh, we started off with like 17 and even Joey Slam let me know, he goes, dude, you're not gonna have 17, so you might as well get 30 because they eat each other throughout the process of growing. So we had 17 and now we have like 13 I believe. So we went through four and uh, hopefully by the time they get big, big, when one gets that big and the other one's this big still, it's like, oh, free live meal. So. It's a weird little process these crayfish have as they're growing up, but um, Joey has plenty more if we do want to grow some more after this as well. If you didn't know, Joey Slam is the one that gave me all these in the first place. So uh, what do you say we uh, get these suckers in? There he is in the back right there. I'm gonna have arrows pointing to all of them that I could see. There's a few more over there. Let's see, the, um, I don't see, they were hiding. I saw a lot go into here. Oh, there's three right here. Three of them, boom, boom, boom. I got arrows to every one of them. Four. So they're all kind of swimming around. They're gonna grow much, much more. You're not gonna see them as much in this tank as you would in that one over there, but that's because they need to grow, and this is what's gonna allow them to grow. It's something bigger like that. So there it is. There is our crayfish only aquarium. It's 10 gallons, and uh, couldn't be more perfect than that right there. So there it is. We got three tanks now. I just uh, cleaned them, and I also did the Windex and the outer glass, so you can see it's Sparkling. There we are in our little tank room, which hopefully has no more tanks after this. Before I do today's positive comment shout out, I want to let everyone know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, at Paul Ferrer, you won't be seeing stuff like this. Um, this video, I'm not even gonna have the audio to this video just because I might get copyright. But Old Town Road, the song that's going around right now, I'm sure you've heard of it. We did such a funny video on it, you can go check it out, at Paul Ferrer on Instagram. This is what my account looks like because a lot of times I'll say my Instagram, people will go to Instagram and there's like 50,000 different Paul Ferros that are like literally copying me. I, I don't know why Instagram doesn't just verify me or nothing extra, just at Paul Ferro. There you go. All right, today's positive comment show. Jonas. You make my day so much better by putting out a video. I wait all day and I am looking forward to it. P.S. Keep up the good work. Appreciate that. And if you want to win a positive comment shout out and have your comment in one of these upcoming videos, all you got to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's right down there. It's free. Like this video and comment down below something positive. Anything. Anything positive. And you could be in one of these upcoming videos on the screen. Thank you all for being here. We got a 10 gallon all crawfish aquarium.